through the centuries, the arts have yeah. been robbed from the church by the enemy. And the adversary has taken a really wonderful stranglehold on the arts. Yeah. And the church has allowed that. And we've talked about this dozens sure. of times where we, we walk into churches where they're, they, they are forbidden to do the arts because they believe it's of the devil. Well, of course it's of the devil. If you give it to him, it's his. Yeah. But we believe that the arts belong sure. to the kingdom of God and they need to be sure. reclaimed. Yeah, that's right. That's why I love that we're in a theater here. Oh, we're in a theater here? And, and we took our music right into the Stone Pony. That's right. Yes, Springsteen Stone, Stone Pony right there in Asbury Park. And you glorified Park. God there. People were saved there, and it was an exciting time. They were putting their beers down and their <laughs> whiskey and saying, yeah. what is this, man? They're telling us about Jesus. So you ran right into his heathen arms. Yes, and then. I did. Found the wackiest pastor in America yes, who would we marry did. you. So I ended us. up marrying That would be you, sir. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That is true. Well, and, and God has produced such great things through your ministry. And we're looking forward to the to the days ahead of what God is saying because you've taken an anointing mm. that you have to bring the arts back and it connects. It mm -hmm. connects with all races, yeah. all taste. Uh, because you, you have a lot of humor with what you do as well as sincerity. Mm. And uh, acting ability is so wonderful that, that you're experiencing. Well, we still love to perform, and God didn't uh, accidentally put us into the, the performing industry and give us that life for a season. It w that was also to glorify him. Every piece yeah. of our lives prior to us entering ministry was a puzzle piece laid out before us uh, that ordered our steps to where we are now, which is going around the globe preaching the gospel of Jesus yeah. Christ, that people should love God, love people, and that he be glorified in all things. And, and we believe that if he is lifted up from the earth, all men will be drawn unto him. And if we want to use theater to do yeah. that, if we want to yeah. use music to do that, if we want to use film to do that, that's what we're going to do. We're going to use every tool yeah. in the arts yeah. arsenal to grow the kingdom yeah, of God. Yeah, yeah. That a boy. That yeah, a boy. you know, God, God called the gifted artisans and, and he anointed them. And, and we forget in, in Exodus, it says, these men were anointed to make curtains. Now, you, yeah. you think, why do you need yeah. anointed to make curtains? Because God wants whatever's presented before him to be anointed, to his hands to be on it and then presented back. And that's when God's presence is going to come in. Yeah. When, God's, when God's power comes is when we put forth an excellent work, yes. when we give him everything we have and say, God, I'm giving you everything. I'm not just going to say, well, God, you know, I'm going to do my best and hope you show up. Mm. We bring an excellent work before the Lord and then God's power comes. In Exodus uh, 40, I think it is, it says, then the glory of the Lord filled the the That's tabernacle. Right. And we always think about that scripture. Oh, yes, the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. We forget that there were like scriptures before five, yeah. uh, ten chapters before that talks about all the excellent things, the yes. preparation yes. that had to be done. So we believe that God prepared us just like Moses was prepared yeah. in the house. It was, he was trained in the house of Pharaoh. Yeah. And then he went out into his wilderness season, but then God called him. And yeah. so in the same way, we believe that God gave us our season in New York and season yes. uh, on tours. Preparing us to prepare, to prepare us. the kingdom of God yeah. because we go into... Not only do we, you know, we preach and teach and, and, and do all that, and that's wonderful, but our greatest anointing is still in the arts. Yeah. And it's to bring uh, kingdom quality theater and, and production quality into the churches around the globe. We've had the, yeah. the blessed opportunity to produce for you and, and yeah. with you. and uh, had a lot of fun. So much. We bring that preparation into the mindset of the local church. And for, for what's been going on for the past few centuries, it's been wonderful and loving and sweet and kind and, uh, <laughs> and, and, and all together satisfactory, but we should be producing the very best. Yeah. We're God's kids. Yeah. We need to be giving him yeah. kingdom quality work. Yeah. And, and that's, that's a, a new way to think about the head and not the tail. Mm. Yeah. We can be that in the arts. I, I'm sure glad you took that cup of water that he offered. And, and, and Jenny, as we pray for the people now, you had said something once that was uh, so impacting in my life when you talked about Buddha and Hare Krishna. Yeah. Uh, you said something about, you say it better than I. They never made you laugh or cry. How, how did you say I, it? I don't remember exactly the words I said, but I remember I was on, I think, an, an Easter service. Yeah. Well, I think I remember talking about, you know, people believe in Buddha and Muhammad, but you can go find the bones of Buddha. You can find the bones of Muhammad. You, can, you cannot find the bones of Jesus. I don't care what they try to tell you <laughs> on the History Channel. He's coming, coming again. on a white horse and he is coming for you and he's coming for 
around me. That's right. And there is power yeah. in there. Let's pray right now. Go ahead and pray for them right in the kingdom. Oh, Lord God, we thank you for your power. We thank you for your presence. We thank you that there is no one like you. you. There is no one above you. There is no one beside you. Oh, God, give us the ability to share you with the world, God. And may we not keep it in a closet. May we not keep it for ourselves. May we not look at an anointing just so we can get goosebumps, but know what you have given us. The gifts and the callings of God are to be shared with the rest of the yes. world. Pour your anointing on your people that we would pour forth onto others around us, oh God. May your spirit be present in us that we can be your spirit and your hands and feet to a world who needs to see a powerful, risen, living, awesome, mighty God. Be with us, with us in this place. Be here now amongst us and let us bleed onto others your power. In Jesus' mighty name. Yes, thank you. We receive it. We receive that.